Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with the Technical Trader. It's Monday night, May the 9th, and these are the charts of the day. Today's something a little different. We're going to focus on junior biotechs and medical stocks, stocks that as a group are just, you know, really doing well of late. And I wanted to show you some of the charts that I'm following that appear to be emerging and are looking really good. Affymetrics, AFFX, the last three or four sessions, you can see sharply increasing volume, surging on bounds of volume, and the price breaking out moving him from about the uh, five and a quarter range up to about six and a half in the last few days. But today jumping at only four cents, although it was up as much as uh, 30 at one point. Two million share traded, heavy volume. And it looks to me like if it could get an extension here, we can start to see that run up towards the $8 level, my trading target for AFFX. Alkermes, Al Al ALKS, um, today broke out across 1470, which is the key resistance level for going back to February. Volume increased sharply to 4.4 million as they acquired a division of Elon, which could materially increase the revenues and, um, and perhaps earnings as well. But more importantly, it looks like it's headed to test resistance around 16 and maybe make it up to my trading target at 18. Amarin, could today have been the beginning of maybe an emergence from this three week little uh, coil here? Well, we'll see. The stock certainly had the big pop three weeks ago. Been edging really quietly. Look how narrow it got the last two days on low volume. Today it popped 74 cents, almost 5% on nearly 3 million. And it could be the emergence of a, of a, a beginning of a move that it gets us up towards the $20 range by trading target. But first, let's get across 17 and a half resistance. Apricus Biosciences, APRI, broke out of this um, eight day flag. And uh, notice that after the run from um, about four and a quarter up to um, Nearly six. The stock then pulled back down in a nice little eight day bull flag. Stepping back, you can see it a little bit more readily. This rising channel since November has taken the stock from uh, about, about 150%, but more importantly, it looks like it may, may be headed now towards a seven and a, seven and a quarter late range short term or a trading target. ARIA moving forward nicely today, up another 34 cents, 4% there, about 3.16 million. Volume is good. Technicals are surging. The stock's acting great. Um, new multi-year high, is it? Let's see. It's got the highest level reached since, well, as far as we can see on the chart here, um, about the highest level since 05. So about a six-year high today. Breaking through a key resistance zone. The breakout across this level here, for me, was very important technically. Looking for a move that takes us to 11 and then 13. BIOS. Big move of late and continuing to move up today, jumping up to 712 back off at the close of 675, but still up 24 cents or 3.7 percent. Now it looks to me like momentum is strong enough, but we're at resistance zone in here, so be careful about a potential pullback. In any case, though, I'm looking for a move that takes us to eight dollars eventually, maybe more. Elon Corp, um, which had been in a beautiful rising channel, and we had a swing trade on it back here in April, did very well. Um, and pulled back to consolidate in the zone. Today it popped 38 cents or almost 5% on 6.6 .6 million as they uh, received $200 million for one of their divisions on a sale. And uh, we've got to freeze them up and give them some cash. But in any case, uh, beautiful rising channel. I'm looking for a move that takes it up to about nine and then accelerating up to 10 and a half, 11. Gene, genetic technology is acting great. This breakout here was a key one, a two day little stall or flag. Another pop and now another five day flag. This stock could explode at any moment. If it gets to 960, I'm looking for $13, folks. MAPP map had a big pop today, got up above resistance and backed off. It's still, although it dropped a $1.20 off its high, it still goes up 42 cents. But more importantly, I wanted to show you the overall pattern. This resistance level here, which is being challenged and maybe taken out, should lead to a move up towards the $19 range. Uh, to retest this high up here. That's our next trading target, 1890.19. Merit Medical Systems, MMSI, has been in a beautiful rising channel. It split um, on Friday, and it, it, this two, two week consolidation resolved as a, pop, as a stock popped to the upside, nearly reaching 20, backed off to 1917, but looks like it may be headed for the 2122 zone. And ONTY on Cotharion. Popped out of this falling little channel or wedge here. And um, that was stuck his head out on Friday, followed through nicely with volume of one and three quarter million today, up 50 cents or 11 percent. Tagged the 530 resistance and backed off, but a move through that should get us to my trading target up near six. 
OXGN, um, although it backed off today, it's really been moving nicely of late. It's moved from one and a half to three and three quarters in the last, uh, or say one and three quarters to three and three quarters in the last four or five sessions. So due for a rest today, maybe it consolidates in this area, but if it does break out over three and three quarters, I'm looking for a move to five and a half. And SQNM, Sequinam, uh, which it suddenly exploded yesterday, uh, should I say Friday, and followed through beautifully today, closing near the high end of the range. Has some more overhead resistance around 865, which I expect to be tested. But if SQNM gets through that, then we're looking at a possibility of a 12 and a half to $13 stock uh, in immediate term. UNIS continues to base and act well after the pop in March and a pullback in April. The stock popped and then pulled back once more to form this large wedge pattern. Now today, it reached as high as 554 as volume started to increase, 293,000 shares traded. But looking at unbalanced volume, the stock is apparently being accumulated here. It looks like it may be getting ready for a pop out of the wedge and move up to the 640 range and then 7740. Those are my targets. And lastly, today's Vertex, which had a nice pop out of this five, six day flag following this big pop in April. Today's moving up 311 or 5.7% on nearly 2.8 million. It looks like this may be headed for moving to the 60, 63 range short term. And those are your stocks for tonight, Monday, May the 9th. Good evening.